we're here. Got my new generator. Picked it up yesterday, used, but for two hours. Two hours of use. So, uh, just charging up the battery. Oh, oh, I didn't even try this. I don't know if it already had uh, power. Maybe he's kept it up. I hope so. And this is about I estimate about 4,500 square feet back from the road. So yeah, I know I'm crazy. There's another one right at the driveway that's easier to winterize, but I can't help it. Look at that view. Plus I heard Buddy that's uh, next door has a generator running, so he must have to top up his uh, solar in the winter. At least we're not even deep in the winter yet, so all the more reason to be back here. It's more private. I want the real thing. So we'll just charge that up. Make sure it's good for the evening. I doubt if I'll get my solar hooked up. You never know. I'm going to concentrate on the heater and insulation. It kind of sucks because I want to re... This is where the heater is going, but I want to rebuild as well. I think I'll just scab onto it. I just need to make it thicker. You put the, the studs sideways so they're not the thick four inch or two inch. So I'll just scab some uh, lumber on it and build it up. I might just put some blue board on it for now. It's gonna be beautiful here tonight. I made it through the first night. But it was uh, not without its adventure. Well, I didn't have, I realized I wasn't going to have enough time. I got up here late. So I realized I wasn't going to have enough time to uh, do the insulation. So I concentrated on the heater. Actually, you wouldn't be able to see it. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think you can see the moon. Room tonight. It's about a little after five in the morning. Oh well, we yeah, the adventure. Uh, I think it's because I, uh, I had some issues with the propane because I transported the tank sideways. Oh, I know you're not supposed to do that. I forgot about the part that it. it I think it messes up the propane. It gets air bubbles or something in the line. That's my guess anyway, because it would just run for a little while and then you'd hear the the uh, gas valve slam shut and it would turn off. <laughs> and this was happening uh, like mid-evening, uh, probably around 8.39 after dark. And I thought, great, I have no heat source and my camper's over at my sister's. So... Uh, it has the backup heater, the you know, the little uh, Cadillac heater, propane. So I thought I was going to have a long night, but I got it to work on the low setting because the, the flame actually increases on this heater when you turn it up. It's got like two stages. So whenever I put it on the second stage, it would... Uh, this would happen and so I was thinking that was what it had it had something to do with that maybe not enough pressure through the regulator I don't know overthinking it as usual but I woke up in the middle of the night <clears throat> around midnight actually and it was starting to drop below 10 degrees Celsius in here getting a little cool so I increased the setting because I, I found that it was, it seemed like it was running okay on low. But low wasn't enough in this uninsulated cabin. That'll change today. I'm going to insulate it. Hopefully everything will be get done. At least the walls slash roof. I'll get started early on that because it's warm in here. Oh yeah, because uh, I decided to turn the heat up because the low setting just wasn't quite doing it and it stayed on so now it's quite uh, toasty in here this is the coldest part of the evening 
always coldest just before dawn for some reason there must be a reason because it always happens look at that I'm up over three minutes yap 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 that's day two at the cabin <clears throat> done a lot of work to it I got rid of the the trailer look with the two benches and the table so it's I got to get rid of that mattress that was just a late night thing I wanted to get the wider foam so there was room for my dog and me because the other one's a little narrow it's a single so I'll take that back up to the uh, other A-frame but I blue boarded that end wall and I've got uh, insulation eight feet up I just have to go another four feet I'm just debating uh, I think I'm gonna put a couple beams across and come a few joists out and create a storage space up there and up here I'm crazy not to take advantage of it and then I'll leave these middle two to go all the way up that'll look kind of neat I think and it'll be less room to heat because I think uh, it's going to be a challenge for this little heater I think I had it on full blast last night, mind you. I'm still, that's where all the heat's going. It rises, so I think I'll be surprised if I if I get the gumption to finish it today. I'm awful sore. Plus, I've got to do this wall. It's uh, normally constructed, though. I don't have to blue board it. Although I do have some two-inch stuff. It's tempting to use it. I can use it on the other A-frame, too. I still can't believe I got this place. I'm just surrounded by water. It's, this is like a little peninsula that comes out. So that actually comes in. Over here, you can see the dam at the bottom. I was thinking it went the other way, but everything's filtering in. And then apparently there's a dam. There's a dam down at the far end. So everything's going that way. My crystal was getting lots of moonlight this morning. See the moon up there. Yep, work in progress. I just cleaned up this morning. Everything was all over the place. Put in some coat hooks. Put some rocks back up. I have to be inventive on how to use the space here. I don't know if I'll keep those windows in or not. I need uh, shelving. Figure it out. I'm just kind of relaxing this morning. I haven't uh, been taking enough time to enjoy the place. Uh, I've got it to a certain level of snugness. I mean, even if I just drape some plastic across there. Yeah, I'll finish it though. I'll definitely finish this wall. I still have that stud to do too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Once I snug this up completely, I think this heater's going to be fine. Had some coffee. And a banana muffin. doesn't matter where I go on this property I just love it it's just the morning Sun coming through a little bog over here that's what feeds the waterfall Wow this is gorgeous look at this. some of these huge mature trees too this hasn't been all logged out 
love that. Honestly, this property's got everything that I love about Northern Ontario. You can hear the neighbor's generator going in the background. I can't hear it from the A-frame, that's good. a recent come down I think yeah there used to be a trail right here I might have to cut that out well we're towards the back of the property looking out it's just slopes down the whole way kind of terrain I like there's one of the markers very clearly marked they had it surveyed, surveyed by GPS. So you can see the ribbons going along. A little trail cut. I plan on doing a, a little trip around the property line year round. Just keep a little path clear. It's a nice little uh, hike every day. Get TJ out. Even though we're eventually going to be living. Here he still needs to be taken for a, a little hike. The great thing is I won't have to leave my property to do it. Oh, I just love all this terrain. The rocks popping up. Oh, you can see the water way down there. It gets narrower as you get back to the back of the property, so it goes a lot deeper than you'd think the size of acreage which is kind of cool oh, okay Got another old tree down okay I'll start filming over by the gorge on the other side when we get to the top point and head back get to the back part where it comes to a point, you can see a, a piece of duct tape around a tree over there. And then it scoots off that way. Uh, south, east. And then the other property line goes straight down due south, pretty much. And it just follows this uh, ravine. That There's a chair on the other side of that fallen log with a view over this valley, so I think that's a good spot to maybe I'll have to build a little lean-to up here somewhere spend the night and get up early and get a deer look at that, speak of the devil deer scat I think that's deer as far as I uh, Remember, my hunting, my hunting skills go back to my teens when I was back home, on the East Coast. Oh, there's another marker. Yeah, so all this land is part of my land. I love it. back down towards the lake Shambhala Lake I kind of like that well, my battery died on my phone so I didn't get to video the rest of the uh, walk that's too bad but got some fresh air and came back and started this measured out the poly and uh, I just hung it straight up the middle it was a nice crease line Four feet on either side, it overlapped. I started on this end and then I just staple as I go and uh, it helps slide the uh, insulation up with the help of the stick. And I've got a couple more to go. And down that last stud and then that wall. I'm done. What are you 
you doing, Mr. Otter? You can hear an otter huffing and puffing at me. I'm out in the canoe. Can you hear him? Oh, he's coming over. <laughs> cool. Nice spot. I hear TJ running around in there somewhere. I see his white patch in there. Yeah, there he is. Well, that was fun. We went all the way down to the other end. So cool. Well, it's too bad. <clears throat> it's too bad this uh, doesn't have the door. I'm gonna have to look for one that's complete because it'd be nice to have an oven. But I'd grab the barbecue from the camper, and I got sweet potatoes and carrots going. Gonna get some chicken ready. Did some dishes earlier, got some water from the lake and boiled it up. And we got double sinks here. It just uh, empties into a bucket. And they dump the bucket. I just gotta I just went and got this board. I'm gonna have to make something that at least covers one sink. Because uh, yeah, pretty limited counter space. That's it right there. I don't know. I might uh, might bring it out more closer to the door, but yeah, it's probably fine. Might uh, I noticed with the other uh, A-frame stove faces this way. And then there's just a piece of steel there to reflect the heat. I don't know, I might like that better. I might toy around with that. <clears throat> toy around I must because there's not a whole lot of room. I'm gonna definitely build some storage up there. So that I can stow stuff. Same with up here. At the very least, I'll come out to the first choice. I kind of would like to come out halfway. Maybe I'll uh, figure something out. A little cantilever. Yeah. I'll figure something out. Anyway. It's been raining off and on. Mostly on. Brought my uh, totem pole with me, soapstone. Made in Canada, Oma. Oh, the crow's up uh, one of the trees right outside the cabin. I don't see him. I can just hear him. Whenever it lets up a little bit in the rain, he comes around. All the animals are curious. Had the neighbor shooting his gun a couple more times. I think he's got a cabin back here. It's closer to the road. But the shots today sounded like they were towards the lake. Didn't hear any uh, buckshot or bullets whizzing by though. <laughs> I'm close to the water. I'm actually standing on a piece of the cabin that's cantilevered out. There's my heater chimney. Pretty neat little rig. So far, so good. I'm probably going to get a tiny little wood stove. Put it right where the table is. Just get a little tiny one. They make them for boats. 
because there's so much dead standing dead wood around. I'm gonna have to make some uh, shelving for underneath here so I can store stuff.